Hey guys, um, I'm here to show my homemade solar panel. Um, don't worry about that thing, that's just a motor I was powering with it, but this right there is the inverter I'm using. I don't like that one, it's not as efficient surprisingly. The car one I looked up is actually a little bit more efficient, it has no fan, and it doesn't make a buzzing noise, so it's much better. For this application at least. Kind of just wired it like that. Um, and this is a voltage regulator. It converts the 20 volts down to 12. So the inverter doesn't get fried. Um, now, this, in, this converter is not a good type. Because it does step down the voltage to 12. But it does not raise the amperage. So the current actually stays the same as it would without it. So you're really losing power that way. So I got a new one coming that will actually step it down and step the current up. Instead of just leaving the current as the same. And just bringing the voltage down. So that'll be fixed. Um, so this is the panel. I don't really want to walk in front of it because it is powering something right now. And I have no batteries on this. Which is kind of cool. That you could see it directly powering something. These are the panels. They are polycrystalline. Um, it's very bright here. You can barely look at it. Um, show you guys. Right from there. It produces up to 70 watts. I tested it and I got up to like 68. So I made it myself too. Um, this is all plexiglass covering. Oh, I just walked in front of it, didn't even realize that, but anyway. Plexiglass covering to protect it from the rain and stuff. And these are good cells, too. I made it all by myself. Tab, soldered them, did all that. Um, and I'll show you what it's doing inside. So I'm running a wire from the inverter into the house right up through here and to this light bulb um, now I don't know why it's not going on hang on I'm gonna pause the video and see what what's going on maybe it's just because the sun's a little low I'll be right back okay it turns out the inverter was disconnected because the wires were loose but I got that fixed up You could see it's clearly powering the light bulb. That says 12 watts. Remember, I can't use too much higher because the regulator is not efficient. Like it lowers the voltage but doesn't raise the current. So when I get that fixed out, I expect to power like 60 watts. And I powered this too. Let's see if it could do this. was working earlier. You know what, I'll turn, yeah. There we go. It's powering that too, so I'll have an update when I get the new converter. This is going pretty well. Um, so, yeah. Pretty, pretty impressive to say the least. Um, bye.